How's it going, you guys? So if you know anything about my channel, you know that I'm an absolute huge fan of the Notion app. It's a note-taking software. It's an organizational software. It's a project management software. It's pretty much everything in one. And I've just talked about all the great ways that you can use it in the past. Now, today I'm going to be comparing Notion to an app that's getting quite a bit of buzz in the community that I'm in, in the business owner community, in the uh, self-development community, in the writer's community. And that app is Bear, okay? So I've never used Bear, just as a, as a forewarning, but I've seen it in comparison with Notion quite a few times. And today I want to kind of give my first reaction of Bear and compare it to Notion. Let me know below, do you use Bear or do you use Notion? Or maybe you use both. Let me know below and let me know what you use them for in the comment section. All right, so this is the landing page for the uh, Bear website and Pretty sleek, pretty cool. Uh, organize easily, it says. Use it everywhere. That's another thing that I'm super excited about with Bear is the reviews that I've been hearing for using it on different devices. I feel like Notion has a pretty good experience on other devices, but I don't use it a whole lot on my phone. One of the things that I'm gonna be comparing is like how well you can use it on uh, this iPhone here. So we're actually going to start our journey here on my iPhone, and I'm actually just gonna hop into the App Store and I'm gonna download this app and we're gonna see what I think of it. All right guys, I'm here in the app store. So what we're actually going to do is just do a quick search for Bear, pretty unique name. I'm curious of why they named the app Bear. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and download it. What's calling my name right now is that bottom right corner with that little uh, red button there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that and see what that comes up with. All right, very sleek to start out. We've just got an H1 tag here. And if you know anything about web design or writing, um, there's different header, header sizes, right? So this is really useful if you want to publish content on a blog or something like that. It's cool to be able to um, use your head tags in here. And I know Notion has this feature as well. Um, so I guess comparing the two right now, this might be a little bit sleeker going into it than Notion is, but um, pretty similar, I think, so far. So let's just start writing something. All right, cool. So if I want to create a new header, it looks like I can just click that little H there and it'll pull up a uh, header too. So I've written out a little uh, quick hello world, just a quick like little test. Um, and yeah, so far, so good. Uh, let's try to continue writing here and see how I feel about it. So guys, what's really starting to stick out to me as I use this app is that really the edge that Bear has is the fact that I think it's a lot sleeker than Notion. If you are big on UX design and you really like to have something that's nice to look at, something that's that feels nice, something that feels simple, something that isn't too much, isn't too little. So I've written out some H, an H1 tag, an H2 tag. I think this could be used for content publishing as I've said in the past, like if you have a blog or if you have writers and they need to collaborate. Let's try to do one of these little doodles here. I wanna see what that, that's all about here. I don't really know exactly what to do next once you've drawn something out. Oh, I guess you just back out and it puts it right into your right into your uh, notes. So let's see if we can resize it here on mobile. Can we? I don't know that you can. And if you can, I mean, that would be cool, but I'm not sure. It's not super easy to do. It doesn't look like. Um, and I actually accidentally just deleted it. So let's see what all this is about. Um, what are these welcome hashtags? Okay, so it looks like what those basically are, are basically just like um, for tagging the different articles in a certain way. And there's a way to do this with Notion actually too. Um, it's not super hard to do. Uh, and first impression, honestly guys, everything that Notion is, it's bear is basically less than notion in my opinion. Um, the only thing I'm seeing right now is just like better design overall. I'm not sure if it's actually worth switching over from notion to bear, you know, just, just my opinion. Here's the deal guys. You can do everything in notion that you can pretty much do in bear. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to link you guys out to, um, a notion video that I just created. It's 10 ways to use notion. And guys, I'm not biased either way. If I would have got on Bear and I would have seen something and I actually hope to see something better than Notion, I would have totally just said, hey, I'm making the switch. But that being said, there's not really a huge use case for me to use Bear continuously. 
uh, compared to using Notion. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to link you guys to a video that I created. This video goes over 10 ways that you can use Notion. One of those ways being uh, as a note taking app. And guys, actually, I think that even Notion beats Bear at its one product, which is or its one service or one feature, which is note taking. Um, in the sense that you can create tables of notes. I actually show you guys how to build out a notes database and it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I just thought that I would be fair, kind of give another app a chance and check out uh, Bear today. Um, maybe I should go on the desktop version, but I'm not sure if that would even really sway my opinion. The real reason that I wanted to pick up Bear in the first place is just because um, I heard that it was a good note taking solution for mobile and there's definitely nothing wrong with this. It's just that I think Notion definitely takes the cake on this one, guys. Here's my verdict, guys. I think Notion wins for sure on this one. The only thing that Bear, I really saw with Bear that they did well was uh, UX design. It's a beautiful app. It really is. It's super easy to use. You know exactly where to go. But if you're using Notion every day, once you get past the learning curve of it, it's super flexible, super custom, and you can really get complex with it. So that's why I'm going to give the award for the day to Notion. Remember to comment below. Do you guys use Bear? Do you use Notion? What do you use them for? Am I wrong about Bear? Am I wrong about Notion? Let me know below. Also smash the like button. That helps me out a ton and subscribe if you like to see this sort of content. I'll see you guys in the next one.